Hello, everyone. So, okay, my name is Sandra. I'm coming from University of Zagreb University Computing Center, and uh, abbreviation is srce. It's hard in English, but in Croatian, it's srce. So, please call us srce because it's much shorter and easier to, to talk about. So, uh, we are the newcomers to this project. We haven't used this um, uh, method so far. Uh, so, I'm going to talk about our expectations from, from this uh, uh, project. Just a, a little bit uh, short introduction who we are, because actually Srce is not a university, it's a part of the university working on the e infrastructure for the whole academic and research community in Croatia. We are part of the University of Zagreb, but we are sitting on the two chairs. We are helping University of Zagreb, but we are also helping whole higher education uh, community in Croatia. Uh, so uh, we can talk about users from University of Zagreb and also users from whole Croatia in higher education. Um, so I'm not going to read, uh, to read the whole the story about Srce, but uh, this is our building. And this is where the next project partner me meeting is going to be next year, during, uh, according, to the, <laughs> according to the project. So when we are talking about University of Zagreb, which we are supporting, so here are the numbers, here are the numbers, like 34 faculties, 7,000 academic staff, and 70,000 students. So these are the part of the users we are helping uh, uh, in our work. I'm heading the e-learning center. And we are the uh, national institution in Croatia helping teachers, students, and institutions in e-learning implementation into their uh, teaching uh, and learning. So uh, what we do, basically, we work all the time with teachers and sometimes with students, uh, mostly helping students to avoid uh, penalties when they don't put uh, their uh, assessments on time or work home homes. Uh, but work, we are working with teachers, not for teachers, but with teachers. And this is a very important issue, as um, having the friendly uh, uh, um, attitude with them and uh, working and listening to them and their needs, we can accomplish uh, a lot. So uh, at the moment, uh, we are the team of eight people, eight people plus me, and um, we are dealing uh, with the, the uh, enrollment uh, for the new academic year. Um, we have um, the uh, LMS based on Moodle. Uh, we are calling it Merlin. But we also have the VLE. What does it mean VLE for us? It's LMS plus other tools which helps teachers and students to have an environment where they can work on a much, uh, a much advanced level. So for example, the last year we had uh, 10,000 courses, e-courses on uh, our LMS, and now uh, uh, my, my team is uh, just struggling with the questions and, uh, and a course uh, opening on, on LMS because we have reached almost 10,000 courses now uh, at the beginning of the academic year. Where is the end? I think it will be almost 20,000 uh, e-courses. So we are covering all higher education in Croatia. So not only University of Zagreb, but Rijeka, Zadar, uh, Osijek, Split, and uh, all uh, colleges. Um, so um, we have to ensure the support, not only face-to-face, -face, but virtual, because not everyone can come to Zagreb to ask for our support. What is very important that we try to organize training online uh, we are now starting with um, consultations online with teachers, which are very important because they want to come and have one-on-one -on -one communication, helping them uh, to do something. So we are going to try this online, not face-to-face. -face. Um, and we also have e-course development project with teachers, where teacher can apply and ask uh, can you start working with me? I want to, to do an e-course. I want to change something. So through three to six months, we are working with them, helping them to make some progress. And so what do we expect from this project? Um, we are having uh, lots of uh, workshops and training courses. And the one e-course we have is um, how to start uh, e-course development. And now we want to be more advanced. Our teachers uh, know now what is e-learning, though they did something good into this, that it's hard. 
uh, it's not easy, they are reluctant, but uh, when they have some friendly support, they are willing to try. So now we have moved from the start, we are on a uh, higher level, and now we have to work with them how to make better e-courses, um, meaning how to make uh, better their teaching and learning. And now we want this uh, ABC method to become a workshop which we'll incorporate in our uh, re uh, regular uh, courses uh, we have. Uh, we want to, I want to have skilled team who know how to support teachers. So it's very important for me that my team is getting some training. Uh, also, uh, we hope for some exchange of experience and know-how and networking from this project. So this is... This